Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I really hope you are doing fantastic out there. So it is that point of the college semester where everything is starting to get a bit more crazy again. Well, it's been a bit crazy for the past week or two. I've run out of pre-recorded videos, which means it's time to start busting out the 21 Pilots lessons again, which are one of my favorite videos to make because I get to learn some of my favorite songs by one of my favorite bands. So if you like 21 Pilots, go on the channel. I have a whole playlist of 21 Pilots pilot songs that I've done so far. These are primarily going to be guitar lessons because this is my major instrument. However, you can also find some bass lessons and some ukulele lessons. So go over, check out that playlist, find your favorite 21 pilot song. And if you can't find your favorite 21 pilot song on guitar, bass, or ukulele, just let me know in any of the videos. Just let me know in the comment section and I'll go ahead and add it to the list of 21 pilot songs that I am going to do lessons on. For instance, Instance, little teaser for next week we are doing how to play taxi cab on bass so a little teaser for next week but for today we are doing a part two for, of lesson i've already done we are doing guns for hands by 21 pilots we're actually going to learn the chords for the song rather than just the intro so let's go ahead and go into the actual chords for the song for the song, we are going to be in standard tuning and we are going to put our capo on the 6th fret. Now, as you see, I am using an electric guitar for the song, but you can go ahead and use an acoustic. All of this is transferable, which is the great thing about guitar. For the song, we are going to need 5 chords in total. So we are going to need a C chord. We're going to need a G chord. We're going to need an A minor chord. We're going to need an F chord, and we're going to need a D minor chord. So once again, C, G, A minor, F, and D minor. Now I know some the F chord may turn some of you off because uh, the F chord is a hard chord. I remember when I first started, I had a lot of trouble with bar chords. However, it is a great feeling once you nail down the bar chords. So don't give up once you unlock bar chords, a whole entire world opens up and you can use this song to work on your F chord. So without any further ado, let's get into the actual song. Let's go into the intro bit that's not the synth part. As I mentioned previous, I've done a video on the synth part, but what if you just want to play the intro and just strum chords? Well, this is what you do. So, we are going to start off on the C chord, and we're going to play the C chord for two bars. So it's going to get a total of eight counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And uh, the way I'm strumming this intro bit is just just up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that is what I'm doing for that. So we start off on the C chord for two bars. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and. And then we move to a G chord and we do the same thing for two bars. Then we go to A minor for one bar. So just one and two and three and four and. Then we move to an F chord for one bar. C chord for one bar. And then G chord for one bar. So we got C for two bars, G for two bars, A minor for one bar, F for one bar, C for one bar, G for one bar. So just to play you through it. Thank you. 
And now I know some of you may say this isn't sounding like the song right now, but I am doing it under tempo so that way we can practice. Of course, the best advice is once you learn these chords, go and practice with the song and play up the tempo. That will help you out tremendously, especially coming up with your own strum patterns. So anyway, that whole sequence of the C for two, G for two, A minor for one, F for one, C for one, G for one. We are going to do, do that whole entire pattern twice, and then we move to the verse. And what's great about the verse is that it is the exact same pattern, which is pretty fantastic. So in total, you're doing that intro chord progression for a total of four times before you move to the pre-chorus. For a pre-chorus, we are going to start on an F chord. We're going to do that for one measure, then move to a C chord. Then that's also going to be for one measure. Then we're going to do a G chord for one minute, for two measures. So once again, three, four, two. And then for the next part of the pre-chorus, the second half, we are just changing one chord. So instead of an F, this time we are doing a D minor this time. So D minor for one bar. C for one bar. And then G for two bars again. So what we got again, F for one, C for one, G for two. D minor for one, C for one, G for two. So, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four. Then we move on to our chorus and Believe it or not, our chorus is the exact same thing as our intro. C for two bars. G for two bars. A minor for one bar. F for one bar. C for one bar. G for one bar. We are going to do that twice. That will make up our chorus. Then we move to the verse. Again, that same progression. We move to another pre-chorus. Then we move to another chorus of the song. Then we get into the whole rap section. But right before we get into the rap bit, there is this weird section to where it does an A minor chord. Does an A minor chord. However, it's just weirdly timed. where it goes so just like a so we get in, in that this whole the meaning of this whole part is just to get into this new tempo feel so the tempo is going to change up here so with this part go listen to the recording and figure out the timing for that i would do it on here right now but of course i can't play the actual recording because copyright youtube you know how it works so what we're gonna so go let's practice with the recording with that a minor bit as well as you should for the whole entire song once you learn it but anyway let's go into the actual rap bit as promised so, and as i mentioned here we get a little tempo change so instead of doing a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and we're just doing a one two three four so what we're going to do is we're going to do an A minor chord first. For one bar, an F. For one bar, C for one bar. And G for one bar. Again, A minor. F. C, G, and 
And that is going to go on for the entirety of the rap parts. Then there's going to be a weird transition again, and that's going to take us back in where the bridge is, and it's going to be the same chords as our intro, C for 2, G for 2, you know by now. And then we get a chorus, which, as we know, is the exact same thing as your intro. And that is basically how to play the entirety of Guns for Hands. And I always like to recap every section at the very end of the video, just so that way we are on the same page here. So the bulk of the song is going to be C for two bars, G for two bars, A minor for one bar, F for one bar. C for one bar, G for one bar. That is going to be your intro, your verses, and your chorus. Your pre-chorus is going to be F for one bar, C for one bar, G for two bars, D minor for one bar, C for one bar, G for two bars. So, intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus then we get into this weird a minor shift bit a minor shift bit and then we go into the rap section which is a minor for one bar f for one bar c for one bar and g for one bar then we go into the bridge, which is the intro verse chorus. Then we get into the chorus, and that is the entirety of how to play Guns for Hands. A really fun 21 pilot song. A lot of little complicated, weirdly more complicated than it looks. Mainly that transition into the rap section. Then again, I could just be overcomplicating it. And when you go practice with the recording, you may find that, oh, this is actually an easy transition. But once again, I the best recommendation I can give is go practice with the recording now that you know the song that way you can figure out your own strum patterns what works best for you personally as well as just get a better of how it plays underneath of the fingers but anyway guys once again that was how to play guns for hands on guitar you want to learn how to play that synth intro bit i have a video on it you can go check that on the 21 pilots playlist as well as every other 21 pilots song i've done remember if you go in there and you see a song that you want to want to learn but i don't have a video on it just let me know in any single one of those videos in the comment section hey i would like to hear learn how to play this song on either guitar bass or ukulele if you don't say anything i will default on guitar because that is my major instrument but anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful let me know down in the comment section uh go ahead and like the video subscribe you know every, everything every other youtuber tells you to do but anyway guys i am really tired <laughs> I've had a long day, and I this I, three up more late nights this week. But anyway, guys, hi! We'll see you next Monday, where once again, we will learn how to play Taxi Cab on bass. So I'll see you then, guys. Goodbye, and good night.